Jones grinning as he dances away from Hall. Jones with a derisive look as Hall lands to his body. Poor Richards doesn't have much steam. Jones just popping and moving away. Why doesn't the referee stop it? What is the point? What in the world is the point? Wayne Kelly looking and looking, but this is absurd. Stop the fight. Stop it, Wayne. Come on. This isn't competition anymore. This is a bloodletting. This is absolutely preposterous. This basketball should not be taking these shots. Thank God. Thank God. Roy Jones. Such as it is, should examine Wayne Kelly for taking as long as he took to stop this fight. This is the beginning of the round. Oh, they keep even throwing uppercuts. That's where all of your power is, the uppercut It's position. just target practice, George. It's just beating another man to a pole. Oh, he's down! Just the second oh. time in his career. He is out! He is hurt. I don't know if he's going to get up. Yes. He is out of his feet. That is it. I don't see him getting up. Nine. Oh, my God. Eight. He's up at 10. What a great left hand challenge. Oh. Down. That is it. How can he stop it? That's it. The fight's over. That's You can see that Lewis is in trouble. He's hurt. Marciano, pitching with everything he's got, backs his man to the rope to finish him off. Now watch. A left. Another left crumples Lewis. A blazing right. And Lewis sails through the rope. Oh, what a left hand by Whitaker. And he takes advantage with four more straight left. Dr. McKinney watching. And it's over. It is over. Got himself hung up in the ropes one night at Madison Square Garden and wound up dying in a New York hospital. I think if he had it to do over again, Arthur McCanty might have stopped this one or two punches short of where he finally I, did so. I agree with you, Jim. Fletcher was walloped through the ropes. That's the big punch, the right hand. Fletcher about to go down. Another right, the left, to the ropes. And uh, here is where Cortez is checking it over. As Hasn't hit double digits as a pro, but nine out of nine, all KOs. And here's Green. He promised to go inside, and he stopped, and he has run. Packington's walled and left. And it's crossed. It's over. It's over in 18. Well, Green misses that left hook, but he catches Codrington. A nice counter punch coming up in this exchange. There it is. It's high on the head, and you could see Codrington's eyes are not focused. He's out now. Instinct keeps his hands up, but a few more shots. And then was shot by Freddie Pendleton. There's a big right again by Trice, and Collins is in trouble. Collins could be out on his feet. Salvi pushes Trice away. Here's Collins' time. This fight has not been stopped, although the corner now coming in and saying... ...who we've seen before, very lenient. Was Here. ready to ask Collins uh, if he wanted to continue. And it was the big right that started it. The combination, these against those left-handed fighters, you, you throw in combinations because the one punch won't hit them. And here they are. Bing, bing, bing. Look at all these shots. Now right here, Ron Collins is defenseless. Look at his hands. Oh, did he get nailed? Did he get nailed? It could end in this round. It's over well. now. It's over, Al. It's over. Said that the, the right hand was Mercer's uh, big punch. And there's one right there. Let's take a look. There's another one. And the right hand uppercut. It's all one hand. And there's oh. the big one. That was the one to put him to sleep. And that's and the one. one more. Oh. And you know, Tony Orlando right. was trying sure. to get in on that. And there they look out. Yav Shorkia. Yav Shorkia. 
Это то, чего ждала Надо публика. Надо было раньше да? останавливать снукеру. Неужели не было видно? Очень тяжелый нокаут. И все -таки. Давайте смотреть Давайте повтор. Посмотрим. Вот он, удар подбородок. Вот еще. Вот. И вот здесь он перестал. Вот нет, да. еще нет. Вот он сейчас это. перестанет. Все. Здесь два удара снизу. Вот, посмотри. вот здесь надо было останавливать. Удар не нужен из сознания. Не-не-не, приходит себя. Ruiz, who is a stablemate, incidentally, of Lennox Lewis. Hard left hand by Dua Ruiz is rocked in the first 20 seconds of the bout. Down goes Ruiz. He takes a vicious left hand shot on the way down. And it's unlikely he'll be getting up. And Tony Perez says the people down there celebrating. There's the first left hook. And it's interesting what you said, George, about a fighter like this doesn't look as tall as he really is because of the way his body is built. People have a hard time believing, for example, when it's loose with those guys. Yeah, this, this one is going to be over. Uh-oh. That's a case the referee should have stepped in there and did not give way. That came after those jabs from uh, uh, Mercer. Now Mercer hits on that right. He's going down. Mercer's walking away. Look, the referee just watches. Tight begin this fight, and that'll wear you out in itself, just that nervousness. Mercer with two good right hands. And now Mercer on Morrison in the corner. And Mercer's all over it. And Morrison in trouble. And Morrison goes down for the first time in his career. All right, Joe's going to head up into the ring now. Mike Marley with us, and here comes Mercer on the attack, and right at this point, Morrison's out of it. He, he was out on his feet, precisely, Glenn. He was out of it, groggy. I mean, he doesn't know what's hitting him at that point. Well, those are damaging blows right there. He was out of it. Four, five. Right. Oh. and Morris is hurt. Laser is down. Joe Cortez moves in to have a look, and he's going to stop the fight. Watch his hand come out. Watch him come down. As soon as he come down, boom! Look at that. Watch him come out. I knew he come down. Get ready to say boom again, Michael. All right, boom. Look, and now look. Boom, come on. Boom, again. I'm going to hit him one more time. I like to hit him. What can I say? What can I say? That's all she wrote. What an incredible fight. Utterly without boxing skills. Just punching away. Each fighter in turn. Big shot. Benton is wobbling. Benton on his way. 
Garcia pounding away. A referee letting them go, not even in that corner. Benton, get a better jersey. The referee will stop it. Benton sitting on the ropes. Garcia pounding away here in the second round. The bull struggling to keep his feet. Referee continues to tell him to go. The towel has been thrown in. And now the referee stops it. And the fight. Fighters like Tyson. Here's a look at the barrage of punches. Right here, a fighter turning his back like that. Surprised Janice didn't even step in there. And here... Alex Garcia showing us that he has power any time here. The referee could have stepped in and stopped it. In fact, I mentioned that Bernard Benton better get busy or the referee would stop it. But uh, he was getting no help from the referee. All these shots from Garcia. Oh, so dangerous. Good looking prospect is Garcia. And look at Benton fighting to stay up. against the ropes, almost helpless. A minute to go. And they're going to stop it. They're going to stop it as Perez heads to the canvas. Perez goes down from sheer exhaustion. Look at him there. He's out. Dr. Schiff is coming over to look at him. Perez has collapsed from exhaustion from that bidding on the ropes. And Dr. Alexander Schiff of the commission is trying to get at him. The fight has been stopped, and the winner and new champion is Hamer Griffith. Griffith, making a pent-up whispering sound all the while he attacked, the right hand whipping like a piston rod, which has broken through the crankcase, or like a baseball bat demolishing a pumpkin. Over the referee's face came a look of woe, as if some spasm had passed its way through him. And then he leaped on Griffith to pull him away. It was the act of a brave man. Griffith was uncontrollable. His trainer leaped into the ring, his manager, his cut man. There were four people holding Griffith, but he was off on an orgy. He had left the garden. If he had been able to break loose, he would have hurled Perret to the floor and wailed on him there. <laughs>